Alrighty yo, so make sure this is recording, it's recording, so welcome to the video, my name is Owen, thanks for joining me. In this video I want to make a video about um, bone renewal, how to, what would I do if I had a problem with my teeth, and how I've also been talking to other people who have helped regenerate their own teeth, so. The, the number one thing that I'm aware of, what I would do is, it's all about remineralization and cleansing your teeth from, and cleansing your mouth. Okay, so here are a few tips, okay, just to start off with. Number one is, I would take a bone renewal formula, which is by the Synergy Company, which is below on the link, okay? So that is delib deliberately, specifically made from the world's best things for renewing your bone and your teeth because your teeth are bones and they're part of your bone skeletal system, okay? Um, the function of our bones is to act as a, a scaffolding, a structure, so we don't just collapse into a big pile of like mud or goo or goop, like slob, slob or something. Um, so it's for movement and second of all it's a mineral warehouse so our bones act as a mineral warehouse and back in the 1930s when the American um, Health or Work Association they when they said listen we're not farming good we're ruining our topsoil and when our topsoil go down we predict a lot of health decline and they were right great health decline happened after our, this topsoil went down as in, we over agriculturalized, we, we stopped doing, we didn't crop ro rotate properly, we didn't organically feed the soils the way they would be in nature. We started just using three minerals potassium, um, P, M, K, potassium, P, potassium, um, phosphorus, and sodium, is it? And anyway, something like that, those three minerals alone, which the plant needs like dozens of minerals. So that's the obvious thing. So what I'd recommend for that is if you have enamel issues or teeth issues, start taking a lot of green juices or a, a green superfood blend, okay? And I'd probably recommend Vitamin Green, which is just ridiculously good. It's abundantly mineral nutritional. It's a superfood blend that I, I've used myself and I'll just show you. I have it here myself actually. Where are we? Um, Here's vitamin mineral green. It's it's truly sensational. It has a whole lot of wild green um, stuff like um, chickweed, nettle leaf, dandelion leaf. Oh, yeah, just and it has other things from the oceans like um, sea vegetables and chlorella and spirulina that are very mineral rich. So there, I know other. Um, superfood formulas which have herbs in them which are overall a better combination but if you're just looking for minerals and a sensational formula overall for your health this would be a great one or soon I'll get one up get one in my shop too which I'm looking forward to selling in my shop too but I don't have it in my shop yet but I will in a while so stay tuned um, what else would I recommend so the bone renewal and either either lots of juicing as, and a superfood powder, like a green superfood powder, or simply just do a lot of juicing, with like lots of stuff like garden grass or dandelions, like parsley, all the green things you'd ordinarily buy from the shop, like kale, uh, spinach, chloret, like cilantro, or all that type of thing, you know, just ordinary green stuff, cucumber, and all that stuff. But uh, really, these will have way more minerals because it's um, it's not like weak conventional food. This is like really hardcore, high quality stuff, and I, I plan on getting a really good one in my shop too. So you can have a look at my shop below if you feel like a higher self herbs dot com. Um, another thing you want to do, which is when you want you want to stop doing this, is basically you want to stop having lots of dairy, which causes acid in your body, which demineralizes your bones and your teeth because um, remember our bones are a mineral warehouse we store minerals and if you keep taking like a lot of acid forming foods into your diet or drugs that can be very acid forming stress can be acid forming it's like not good to have, try and manage your stress levels um, and what else I have a formula for stress levels fear anxiety depression grief loss overwhelm anxiety all that stuff it's called serenity and that will be down below also 
just to cover just to cover everything while I'm at, while I'm on it. Uh, I love that formula. And um, yeah, wheat and grains tend to be acidic too. There's a book called Grain Damage, and that shows that grains are not really ideal for humans at all, and they're also mucus forming. They're congest congestive and acidifying, which isn't a good combination. Dairy is congestive and acidifying too. So congestive means it's like you get congested. It's like it's hard to get it get out. It, it blocks and congests. So so dairy, ice cream, yogurt. Um, contrary to what the media say about the yogurt, because um, just market marketing ploys to sell money, make money, and sell products that aren't good for your health. Um, so any dairy at all. Um, wouldn't be good. Be just try and cut that down a lot, or get rid of it. I've been vegan for seven years now. No, like, except for a few little like moments. And um, basically speaking, I've been vegan for seven years and a lot, and mostly raw foods for seven years. And um, luckily, my teeth are fine. Another thing about the teeth, by the way, is some if we don't clean, have proper uh, mouth hygiene properly, bacteria. Bacteria will come in naturally, but if we if we don't have good enough hygiene, if we don't clean properly, if we have sticky like starchy, sugary stuff that doesn't get out of our in between our teeth easily, because like fruit doesn't get stuck in between the teeth, but stuff like bread, donuts, <laughs> all those like starchy, stodgy stuff, they'll get stuck, and that's when you have an overgrowth of bacteria, and they poop, and their poop is acid forming, just like the way you have baby rash the babies will poop and there's like acids in the poop it's just the way it is like that's or in, in the pee as well you know we pee out acids we poop out acids we don't like acids <laughs> the blood is alkaline we don't want acids it's like not good for our body so but every cell produces little tiny little cellular acids and then our lymphatic system is supposed to like get rid of all that and but a lot of people when they're eating a congestive diet, we, we congest and block up our lymphatic system and then we get cellular acidosis and that can lead to cancer and all sorts of like organ and cellular degeneration over decades or even less than decades depending on how weak you are born or how congested you are, how poor a diet you have as a baby and growing up. So, so um, yeah, that's another thing I'd cut down on all those things I just mentioned there. Um, brushing your teeth. Contrary to what they say, you shouldn't brush your teeth straight after a meal because your enamel is like softer. We naturally shed a layer of enamel, like a tiny microscopic layer. Um, it becomes soft and it's easy to go away um, after we eat food. So you don't want to be brushing after food. Wait at least 20 minutes. Ideally, or ideally maybe, maybe wait 30 minutes or more just to be on the safety side. Or if you feel like you just simply brush before the meal and that's absolutely fine too because it takes a long time for like bacteria to start having a party after you clean clean your mouth well. So brush before meals is absolutely fine. Or you could rinse your mouth after meals with water for etc. It's pretty easy to be honest. So what else can you do? Um, let me see. Oil pulling. I would oil pull with something like coconut oil. This is the coconut oil I use. I'll put a link below. Sorry, I'm not trying to sell you everything, but this is like the best. Buy it in the, buy it in the health shop and spend an extra 10 euros then. <laughs> no, I'm only joking. But like this, you get 1.6 liters of organic, unrefined, cold pressed, virgin coconut oil. It's delicious to eat and make food with, to, to cook with, to, 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 to do whatever you want. Like oh, it's a brilliant sunscreen naturally I put on my skin and, and it's lovely, beautiful, makes your skin nice and hydrated and healthy looking and you don't get dry uh, skin. I use it after the shower or bath and I use it as sunblock and I put it on my scalp and my in my hair and it's just really good, you know, so. I also oil pull with this, which I should probably make another video about that sometime, but otherwise just Google oil pulling. It's a form of you put one tablespoon of oil in your mouth, you do that, for 10 to 15 minutes only and then you spit it down the toilet and flush the toilet and it pulls out a whole lot of bacteria, waste, toxins and pollutants from your whole head area and even from your body. It's incredible. It's an ancient Ayurvedic practice. It's incredible. The amount of stuff people have gotten rid of by doing this, aches, pains, headaches, migraines for years, skin issues, serious skin issues, it's just incredible. Most people have to detox so badly because they're so toxic. Their bodies are so like toxic it's like clogged toxic it's just that's why everyone's sick 
it's simple. So if you want to get like healthy, I really recommend eating a lot of fruits. If you want to go hardcore, transition to eating like 75, 80, 90, 100 percent of your diet from fruits, and you can supplement with stuff like herbs or superfoods, or you can just eat salad <laughs> as well. But yeah, fruits are our staple. They're non-acid forming. They're non-clogging. They clean, help to clean you. They give you an abundance of energy and well-being, and a really rapid recovery from exercise, surgery. They're brilliant for your mental health, your brain, your 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 physical, and athletic, and sport performance. People trashing their personal best by just eating like loads and loads of fruits and kind of like to the exclusion of basically everything else. I believe we're frugivores anatomically. At least 99% of us probably are, you know, so it's hard to prove that, but yeah, I've been looking at the evidence. Even powerlifters eating nothing, cook, nothing cooked, all raw foods, all fruits, except for maybe a bit of salad in the evening. And they're, they're bench, they're, they're, they're powerlifting what only 1% of powerlifters can do, three times their body weight and everything. And then there's ultramarathon runners running over 100 miles in a race, like they're just never injured anymore like they used to be before they, st they started eating all raw foods and fruits. Actually, just fruits. And uh, yeah, he's got the best, personal best. He just keeps beating his records and stuff. So that's what I'd do if I had teeth issues. There's one other option. You could possibly think about getting that. If you want to get anything from my store, which maybe, because some people do, and one person was talking to me about my like, their teeth, asking me for questions about teeth before I made this video, that's what inspired me to make the video. So I just thought, is anything from my store which could help? And this actual strength formula, um, it's not, obviously it's not for your teeth. But it is very good at strengthening your bones, ligaments, tendons and joints and they are all related to your teeth. So it must have all like all of these compounds and nutrients and minerals in it. So I'd like if it was me and I had the money I'd go for this as well, like if you wanted to splash out. But this is this is actually for um, to maximize athletic performance, to increase muscle mass, uh, lean muscle mass and to improve digestion. It's great for, basically it's for energy, it's just a sensation for energy, for grounded focus, for drive, ambition, clarity, following a purpose, having the energy to go through with your spirit and to um, basically just have a lot of energy, you know, it's just, and also for sex drive and uh, physical performance overall. Strengthening the bones, joints, tendons, lig ligaments, as I said. It's just great for energy, it's basically like everything I said there. You will notice a definite increase in energy. It has astragalus in it. It's a blend of astragalus, white atracolodes, cottonopsis, mucuna, cystanch, eucomia, marinda, snidium seed, and licorice and cordyceps. Very famous herbs. I have a few of them in my press. I have mucuna, astragalus, um, and cordyceps, and I have yeah a bit of licorice and. Um, I've tried Mirinda, Sustance, Eucomia in Asia, fresh. <laughs> I made my own herbal tea. Okay, well I hope that video helped. And if you have any questions or comments, please uh, leave, leave them below. Um, if there's anything else I can help you with, leave a question below and maybe I can make a video. Um, let me see, other than that, feel welcome to check out my links below. I do like life coaching and body, mind, spirit. And I, I am um, holistic life coaching and body, mind, spirit using my herbal knowledge. And also mostly mental, emotional, spiritual too, for just general, those type of things. Communication, relationships, healing from the past, hurt, getting over hurts, trauma, physical or me mental or emotional. And just basically living the life of your spirit, the true calling of your soul, your passion, your purpose. Um, not to be tied up in all the silly stuff in life, so to speak, the heavier stuff that bogs us down and to let our wings fly and to go flying like golden wings of fire. <laughs> so I think that's enough now. I think that's helped and lots of love to you. It's my pleasure to make the video and I'll see you again another time. Take care. God bless. Namaste. Peace. Have a good day and have lots of fun, guys. Lots of fun. Bye.